Mixing of pigments A pigment acts like a color filter. For example, a green dye or pigment appears green because it absorbs all the colors of white light except green color. However, in nature, no pigment is pure. For example, when white light is incident on a green pigment, it reflects green light and also reflects a very small amount of yellow and blue color, which are adjacent to green. But intensity of yellow and blue pigments is negligible when compared to green. To estimate the colors reflected from a pigment, draw a circle and place the colors of the visible spectrum on the circumference of the circle in cyclic order. Consider a pigment that appears blue in white light. The blue pigment will reflect the adjacent colors indigo and green. But the reflected light contains very less amount of indigo and green. Hence, the pigment appears blue. Let us see what happens when yellow and blue pigments are mixed. We obtain green color. Now, let us see how this happens. The yellow pigment will reflect mostly yellow color and also some amount of orange and green colors. The blue pigment will reflect mostly blue color and some amount of green and indigo colors. When we mix yellow and blue pigments, blue and indigo colors which are the constituents of white light are absorbed by yellow pigment and orange and yellow spectral colors are absorbed by blue pigment. However, green color being common to both pigments is reflected. Thus, yellow and blue pigments on mixing give green color. Thus, pigment mixing is a subtractive process. That is, when two pigments are mixed together then one of them absorbs the colors reflected by the other and vice versa. And both the pigments on mixing reflect the common color, that is, green in this case. The green color obtained is dull green, because the amount of green present in original pigment is very small. Hence, artists resort to pigment mixing only when they have to give some special effect. Observe the color produced when other pigments are mixed. Cyan, yellow and magenta are primary pigments. That is, the secondary spectral colors are primary pigments. The various colors produced by mixing primary pigments are shown here. The mixing of all the three primary pigments produces black as all the spectral colors of white light are absorbed. Mixing of pigments can be diagrammatically represented in the form of a triangle. Color triangle of pigments In the color triangle of pigments, the primary pigments cyan, yellow and magenta are located at the three vertices of an equilateral triangle, while the secondary pigments green, red and blue are located on the sides. Observe what happens when all the primary pigments are mixed. We get black as all the colors are absorbed. 